Welcome back for day two of the Sea Otter Classic here in Monterey, California. Follow us around to the booths where we do Sea Otter by the minute. Full experience. Oh man. I've gone yeah. full and through. So my name is JC. I'm here with Tope Week at Sea Otter Classic 2023. We're really happy to have beautiful sunshine, some beautiful days here, showing off some product, having fun riding bikes. One of the things I want to highlight from that's new from Tope Week is the plug-in tool series and the BB Hyden tool. These are continuing what Tope Week has done for many years with the Ninja series, but in a slightly different concept. Um, so the plug-in tool series, these are bar end hidden tools. Um, the plug-in tool mountain has on one side a full um, bit kit of tools and on the other bar end you have a little plug tool for tubeless uh, repair. The road version very similarly has tools on one side and a tubeless repair on the other. And there's also a chain tool option if you want to carry a chain tool. And then the BB Hyden tool stashes in a hollow bottom bracket. Uh, you have a chain tool with a small tool and a chain hook for repair. So it's a really neat way to keep some tools out of the way, hidden, safe, in a place where the weight doesn't really like mess you up. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you guys. I'm Vice Sukan Jennifong. I'm the van director of Retire. So here's uh, to Seattle Classic, like 2023. So here's a new lineup for Vitar from like the trail to uh, Enduro and Downhill. So this is an intense that we are working with them with Aaron Green and Dakota last year. So we're developing like the lineup, a uh, simplified thing we call like 432. So basically we have like a full tread pattern um, that we cover the line from the trail to Enduro. Attack if for fast, snap if for aggressive, right? Attack F uh, FSX is the new tie that is developed together with Intense team and then like uh, the MK2. So what we do is we do four pattern, three casing. So we have one casing for downhill, the same thing with Aaron Green using in the World Cup. We got the GXE core, which is like kind of a trail to gravity. Most people are gonna use this one. And we got like e-bike spicer, we call the override. So, I mean, here is the, the two, two compound that we're using right now. It's a top 40, the same with Aaron Green. And there we have like e-control for the e-bike casing. So, so enjoy like the World Cup this year and think like we're gonna do like something amazing again with the intense team. Awesome man, thank you very much. Cheers mate. Boom. Hey, I'm Kyle with Endura. Super stoked to be here at Sea Otter this year. Come on by booth B102. We're showing off our brand new custom painted helmets. We're giving these away. And we're also showing off our brand new 2023 apparel. We'd love to see you out here. Hey, I'm Katie and I'm from the Nuke Proof Marketing team. So here we have the brand new Carbon Descent. So this is our first carbon downhill bike. We've obviously got a pretty awesome history in downhill from the years of Sam Hill, but this bike has been out there already podium proven. So this is our first, as I say, our first carbon downhill bike. Uh, it's our most adjustable downhill bike so far. So you've got reach adjustment, you've got chain stay, chain stay adjustment, you've got a flip chip and some- Can you change the progression? Yeah, and you can change the progression as well. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Uh, yeah, so it's really cool. It's like kind of our the ultimate privateer's bike. Um, it's so, so tunable. Thanks, Rob. Uh, so tunable, and as I said, it's already been podium proven. So Ronan Hill, Ronan Dunn and Louise Ferguson hit the uh, World Cup podiums with it last season. So we're looking forward to having the Continental Nuke Proof Factory Racing Team racing on it this season. Hi, my name is John Sachs. I'm a national sales manager here at Cali Protectives. I want to introduce you guys to the Cascade. Um, so the production Cascade is really unique. It uses um, some post-consumer product. It uses pet straps. These are made out of ground up water bottles. The bamboo fabric liner. What's cool is it's an Ocean Works ocean plastic visor. So they actually go out into the Pacific Ocean. They pull plastic out of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and uh, repurpose that into this visor. Um, we are always looking to do something new, so to, to go one step farther, we made a handful of these. Um, there's about 20 of them in existence. This helmet is a post-industrial waste. So a lot of these pieces of plastic are kind of literally other pieces of helmet, other brands that would have just ended up in the landfill, landed on the factory floor. So we took that plastic, um, we made super vents, um, 
recycled EPS, water-based paint, organic cotton liner. Uh, so we're doing our part so we can uh, have a nice planet to ride our bikes on. Hey guys, I'm Bryce uh, with Alchemy Bicycles. Uh, I do all the operations management for Alchemy. This is the Arctos 150. Um, not a lot of people know the Arctos. You are not buying just one bike, but you're buying uh, a whole fleet of bicycles in one. Uh, with an easily modified link, this 150 mil, mil rear travel bike can be uh, adapted to either a 140 millimeter travel or a 125 millimeter travel. We offer conversion kits that include a fork, a shock, and a linkage extender so that you can uh, have the bike for any trail that you're going to go riding. Um, a lot of people want to buy a trail bike and then uh, have those, those days where they're going to the bike park and need something with a little bit more travel uh, or going on a trip to Whistler and then you can just bump it up without having to buy a new bike, you just buy some new suspension. The flip chip that you can see down here will actually slacken or steepen the bike by about three, three quarters of a degree so that you can get something that's a little bit more quick handling or a little bit more stable on the descents. What do prices start at and go up to? Uh, we're starting at around $5,500 and you can spend up to about seven depending on what you want. Uh, that's not including any conversion kits or accessories, but we do offer everything on our website, www.alchemybikes.com. You got a smile. <laughs> How do they already What's know the who I am? <laughs> All right, hi, I'm Toby Henderson, Box Components, and we're here at Sea Otter 2023 showing off the new Gen 2 Box Prime Line Derailleur System. All right, so if you can see this real close, we have our own proprietary clutch. We have nine speeds, and this thing is durable, reliable, and you'll enjoy it on your e-bike. Awesome. Um, what's the gear spread? So uh, we have a 1250, and we also have an 1150. Perfect. And what price points do you come in at? So we start at six seventy nine for a high end. We go to four ninety nine, and we actually have an eight speed system for one eighty nine, which gets you the four pieces: the chain, cassette, shifter, and derailleur. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. All right. So we are being led back to a uh, secure bunker here behind the Sea Otter Expo area, and we're going to be checking out a very exciting new race prototype. I don't want to give it away, but. We were told it looks pretty sweet. Let's go see what's in this container. So my name is Andreas. I'm the head of global marketing for Gas Gas Bicycles. Uh, happy to join the, the Ciota team and the, the North American team from coming straight from Austria. And this is the, the new Gas Gas race prototype. It's actually the, the base of the, the bike we will be using to, to race the UCI Mountain Bike World Cup with uh, two teams and four racers this year. The new prototype is built uh, uh, around uh, 170 millimeter uh, suspension travel from the rear. Uh, this actually is a mallet setup, but uh, it's going to continue the, its development throughout the, the race season, and then uh, the right decisions will be will be made uh, in order to find the best setup for uh, riders of every uh, dimension. We're looking at uh, the end of uh, 2023 for availability. So Q4 23 is the availability for this new model. Good. Hi guys. My name is Simon from Evoc Germany, and I'm here at the Sea the Classic to show you some stuff we present for this season. Let's start with this Hip Pouch Pro, a really nice hip pack for mountain biking. We um, have this equipped with a middle position bottle, um, super comfortable. Um, we have plenty of space for your gear, so um, pockets on the inside keep the gear centered on your back so you are supported while riding with essentials. We have this as, as well um, in a bigger version which comes with a 1.5 liter hydration bladder with a wide hip belt that keeps the gear really centered on your hip and it's great fun to use. Um, if you're finished with your riding, you want to organize your stuff and also therefore we have uh, plenty of products. We have our so-called gear pack series. So we have this in smaller and bigger volumes so you can keep track on all your stuff, organize this um, and uh, keep the dirt in the pack and uh, keep all, all, all together. So if you want to have more details, come by. I'm happy to see you here. Goodbye. Thank you. Who 
okay. you and what are we looking at? Okay, we're looking at model Etna, like the volcano in Sicily in Italy. It's our, it's Lima's latest development for the Enduro world, part of the evolution family, where E stands for Enduro, environmental e-bike, and has uh, this uh, nice here protection that are made of a kind of uh, more flexible plastic. Uh, good ventilation starting from here and here. The MIPS air inside, so no plastic on your head and the MIPS protection, as well as uh, the feedlock uh, magnetic buckle. Awesome. And uh, will these be available in America? It will be available in the US uh, in two months uh, and it's already available in Europe. Could you please show us the adjustment on the back? The we adjust might go over yes. time, but I think that's pretty neat. The adjustment of the back is, has got vertical adjustment and horizontal with the two wings that move along the rails. They are patent pending and the patent pending and the, the wheel is ergonomic and you can regulate also with gloves. How does it feel? Uh, pretty comfortable in fact. Yeah. I like it, and I don't really even need to do any adjusting. It fits me pretty quite well. My name is Bo. We're here at EXT USA's booth. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our new AirShock. Awesome. What can you tell us? Um, so, the main feature is the dual positive air chamber, infinitely adjustable token system. Um, never have to open up the shock. Can tailor the spring curve exactly how you'd like it. Highly adjustable. Um, super rad. Coming at coming at you soon. Um, and we also have our ERA LT, which is our long travel version of the ERA, uh, available in 180 or 190 travel options. A um, little bit thicker wall thickness on the stanchions, and yeah, built the huck. Brilliant. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Last stop of the day. Darren. Push. Tell us what we're looking at. So, here at the Seattle Classic, we're showing the most exciting product of the event. Finally, after years of speculation, we're releasing our brand new inverted front fork. Details are extremely limited. We're actually not disclosing any information at this time, other than to say it's coming soon. And Look, it's the most badass fork you've ever seen. It right? will change your life. We, we just sat through a secret meeting in the back, and there's some exciting stuff. Can't wait to ride this thing, so stay tuned for a review. Cheers. Well, everyone, thanks for coming along for day two at the Sea Otter Classic. Make sure you guys subscribe. Stay tuned for day three. We'll see what else we can get into.